So, good time actually. Uh, I'm about to reroll, which is probably a an insane thing normally for an event to reroll six hours into the event. But my tree is a complete mess. My ascendancy is complete dog shit. So, what I've done is determine what I want to reroll. I've farmed up enough gear to reroll. And so. We are officially re-rolling. What are you gonna re-roll? Not Harrofin! Harrofin is insane. Harrofin is cracked. But we're actually choosing Deadeye, believe it or not. Deadeye Cold Dot. Which is like, you're probably thinking, what the f***? But it turns out, like I said, you have 90 max res from Valakos. You have Heart of Destruction, which gives you um, Convergence and AoE. You have Adrenaline, so 100% increased damage, 25 attack, cast movement speed, 10% Fistia, which will carry early, and then I'll just run a coil late game. And then for my last ascendancy, you have either Void Beacon, Hot, Sanctuary of Thought, pretty f cracked, right? And then we're still figuring out Endless Munitions. I think Endless Munitions is not the angle. I think I'd have to drop Heart of Destruction to run Endless Munitions. But that might be an angle. That might be an angle. But we still need to figure out what it is. Never stop stalling. No, 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 I'm just, you know, I'm just playing the video game. All right. So, SSF Kringle, passive, hotty did I? All right. Okay, so let me, let me just go buy a bunch of leveling gems. I think I just level the exact same way. It's 38 for Cold Dot, right? And what's the best way to level Cold Dot with zero passive points? I just do Fire Dot, right? Perfect. Okay. Me likey. All right, let's play a game. Level one to fifty. Oh, to four. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, mate. That's fair. I think people are looking forward more to the Sentinel one. Are you guys gonna play the Sentinel event? I could see myself playing Trade for that one. I feel like playing SSF isn't gonna be as fun as playing Trade for that one, because then you can recombinate shit. Is there a ladder race in this event? There actually is, yeah. It's actually a race. You get like MTX and top 10 gets a, an exclusive MTX. Well, exclusive, uh, well, I guess not like a, like a reward MTX. That's the main reason that got me interested. Because I do, I do like me some race only MTX. I want a statue. Perfect. It might not look it, but that actually works perfect. I just don't want life on it, basically. And attributes I desperately need. So if I just chuck cold res on that, we literally call that a day, and that is attractive. Didn't I have some sick ass... The 36. Yeah, wow. I'll use those for sure, but for now... Why did I do the, why do I do the things that I do? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, at least show an upgrade. Yeah, that reminds me, if I'm gonna go cold dot, one I should start leveling cold spells, I'm stupid. Two, I need an MTX that would be cold dotty. What's like a hot, sexy also, mystery box. Oh my god! Oh my god! I gotta! Oh my god! That actually does look kind of cool. Like that? No, that doesn't really the Cerulean. What have I done? My okay, Mantex looks scuffed to shit, but it doesn't matter. It's a struggle to get stats. It really is, yeah. My, all my gear is just res and stats. Prioritizing stats, to be honest with you. Oh my god. Remember when I did this on the Elementalist? And it took like 10 years. Have you ever seen the true face of God? This looks like, looks like a normal build, huh? Die in awe! The okay, never mind. Still see DPS lol. Did you give a Baldur's Gate 3 review yet? I hate giving reviews. <laughs> I really don't like giving reviews. Do you guys ever watch a movie and you liked it? 
and then you look up you look up the movie and you look at the review or you happen to see the review and the review says it's like the worst movie like it's like a f 5 out of 10 or a 4 out of 10 and you're like huh so that happens to me a lot I just have shit taste, I guess. It means I was wrong. I've never looked up a movie, saw the review was low, and it diminished my enjoyment of the thing. And have you got your? Have you guys ever done the opposite? You watched a movie and you were like, eh, it was like, eh, not my thing. And then you look up, you look up the movie, and it's a ten out of ten, and you're like, wait, what? That was the best film. Like Rotten Tomato critics say, this is the best movie. Like this is definitive. Like genre defining like absolute masterpiece and you didn't even like it and you're like huh like what the fuck does that mean what the fuck i don't know i'm a, i'm definitely a big it's so bad it's good enjoyer go where you are needed like that is definitely i i, I fuck with that so hard eh one piece live action was pretty great that's a that's a good example of what i was talking about actually i watched the one piece live action and I fucking, I really liked it. I really, really, really liked it. I was very happy with it. And then I looked it up and people were like, basically just, sh the review critics were basically kind of shit on it. And I was like, fuck you. It's like, I liked it. Fuck you, suck my, suck my cock. Actually, I think a lot of you are in the same boat as me. Cause you know, critics say Diablo 4 is like 10 out of 10. <laughs> so yeah, maybe you guys are not so different from me. I'm just saying, boys. I'm just saying. Someone got a void board reliquary. Wow. Holy shit. Good luck. Stand your ground. We're not recommend doing that on hardcore, but we in SC and life is easy. So this is mass. No, this is uh, Wind Ward, which we said on the lovely Dead Eye is Valakos. So no, I don't want that. I almost pecked into that. Holy shit, that would have been devastating. It is actually rupturing, which is down here. That's so fucking nice, dude. Can you believe that shit? Doing crawl lab while I'm in Chamber of Innocence is a good sign, right? Pretty sure that's considered to be like pretty good, even by softcore standards. Okay, if I can get res cap, we are gaming. Jung Roan What are you doing? My mana is gone. Is he allowed to do that? Is that legal? Is that a legal move? Doing fucking Chimera? How the hell are you in Act 5? You guys weren't complaining when I was uh, doing the spreadsheeting. Now you want to talk all this shit? I see how it is. So, do you guys say Jung's playing DD? Is that what you guys said? See now I now I'm questioning playing Cold Dot. <laughs> because like <laughs> Now now I wanna play Ah, uh, but I feel like Cold Dot is a more fun build. Cold Dot you can just walk through the map, literally. I wonder if Righteous Fire How does Righteous Fire work with convergence? Chat. It works the good way, right? Like you get AoE, and then if you hit an enemy, like with Fire Trap you get 30% more damage, right? Okay, you know what? Screw DD. I literally would hate my entire- I would hate my life. I do- I, I don't want to play DD. Don't even need single target for one. Yeah, because I'm not trying to do ubers. I'm just trying to like map. Alright, well as a follow-up question. Righteous Fire or Cold Dot then? That's- that's the question for me. Cold Dot's easier to get single target on, right? Than Righteous Fire? 
Like it's RF is faster. Yeah, but like my gear, my everything's scuffed, right? Like super scuffed. Cold dot, and I haven't really played cold dot before either, so I get to experience something I haven't really done much. Do you guys see that World of Warcraft's next expansion has forty dollar USD paid early access? So if you pay, if it's it's an extra forty dollars, and you get to play three days early. When you see a game studio do things well, I'm so much more lenient now because of what other game studios are doing. If you just compare like GGG to Blizzard, it makes you really appreciate GGG. Like a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> 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 uh. oh, okay. Keep playing. So I've been up for nearly 22 hours, and I was not planning. The thing is, I wasn't planning on staying awake. So I didn't. I didn't. Even, I, I, didn't I like didn't even really shower or anything. I'm like all grotty and shit. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? We're basically complete. We've done all of the ascendancies and all of the keystones except for eight. I will see you guys, uh, I don't know when, when I wake up, I guess. Uh, I don't know when that is though. Hey, what's going on boys? Oh, okay. I cannot believe, by the way, <laughs> he's still playing Slayer. <laughs> Alright, anyway, <clears throat> how's it going boys? Harry Infantry Raw win. No, 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 we're doing Dead Eye. No one Dead Eye, dude. Are you sure with the dead eye? Oh yeah, I already PAB it. I PAB to build and everything. I should have like two, three mil DPS. Should be able to hit four, five k life, uh, and basically, you know, pretty fucking tanky. I, I'm I'm struggling to get ninety max res. Not too sure how to get ninety, but we'll see. I have thirteen skill points by the way. I don't know what to do with it. My end game PAB has cluster jewels. And that's bulk up the passive points. I gotta, mm, I gotta do something with the points though. It's just everything other than classes is so point inefficient. It's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I thought you're gonna play cold dot. You should never swap to cold dot early because of the cooldown on vortex and the reliance on cold snap frenzy charges. You basically need to make sure that your build like is playable, like smooth to play. I could probably swap now though, to be fair. I was just gonna get the blood aqueduct before I swap. But yeah, while I, uh, while I was waiting for my food, I did do POBing. It's kind of amazing how little you need to make this build work. Like, Cold Dot just doesn't need a lot to come online. Because I'm ignoring spell suppression, so I just need life, res, and attributes. And then gem levels and damage on my gear and dot multi where I can get it. Like, it's... And, and, and like, the gear that I put in there was, like, kind of dog shit. Is there a Krangle PAB? No, I basically, this is what I did, I'll, I'll show you. But I said, what if I have no points on my entire tree, except for one reservation, because I, I have that over here. Eldritch Battery, which I can get over here. And then three Cluster Jewels and Jewels. And this is 2.6k life, which obviously is low, but I have, what is this, like 70 points to play around with? Um. I have evasion, I'm running coil, fizz damage taken as Ellie, so that's my fizz DR solved. I have 86 max res, so I still need 4. I need 4 max res, a bunch of life, and then my damage is 2.2 mil. But I'll, I presumably I'll get more damage. And then the gear is like... So I copied some guy in SSF. The, the shield's good. Ish. Because it doesn't have plus 1. Um, you don't need the avoid there either. But the, the weapon is a piece of shit. And then the rest of the gear is like literally life, res. The amulet's actually nice, but you don't need cast speed on cold dot. That's quality of life. The, the the jewels are pretty fucking respectable though. Although they would be a lot better with 12 passive. I guess that's an option I might have to consider. It's just using 12 passive and crafting that up. I could see I could see that being pretty insane. How's the race going? I'm basically just starting a bit late. But that does mean I have the opportunity to make my build a little bit better. Because if you look at like some of the other ascendancies people are playing, like I know that Elementalist, Savan, I know he's fucked. Because Elementalist is complete dog shit in this event. 
it is complete dog shit. Like he's basically unascended. So um, I think having a stronger build will get me to 100 quicker than like sticking with Elementalist. So again, even though I kind of like lost a lot of time and had to plan and everything, I think ultimately uh, I'll still get to 100 in a good time frame. Just farm for your regrets. I think it's like all the witch sentences are kind of sad. Like if you if, if Dead Eye in this Krangled event was a real ascendancy with a real tree, but it just had the exact same ascendancy, it'd probably be the best ascendancy in the game. It's kind of hard to beat Pathfinder with the flasks, but ignoring fl like ignoring like Progenesis being insanely overpowered, ignore that one thing. But yeah, now if I'm willing to put in the effort, I'm telling you in uh, six days from now, my build should look pretty fucking amazing. I dare say, I, I mean, I dare say, my build might look better than a regular, tr like, regular build. Like, at this point in, like, SSF softcore. I dare say. We'll see, though. Copium. That is pretty copium. But you, you gotta understand, cluster jewels and timeless jewels and tattoos. Don't forget tattoos. Don't forget tattoos. Uh, they absolutely changed the equation. They absolutely changed the equation.